hi good morning everyone let's get started with our next training which is going to be on SAP's lock management concept of what is a lock in SAP and what is the objective of this lock and why the locks are created in SAP okay to ensure data consistency within SAP systems you must ensure that data records cannot be accessed and changed by more than one user at any time. To do this, SAP system has its own lock management concept. Okay, so the main objective of locks is that you should not be able to access the records which another user is using it. Okay, so from a data perspective, based perspective every dialogue step forms a physical and logical unit the database transaction the database lock administration can only coordinate this type of database transaction from an SAP point of view however uh, this is not sufficient because the SAP transactions which are formed from a sequence of logically related steps that are consistent in business terms are generally made up of several dialogue steps. SAP system need to have their own lock management. This is implementation. Basically, this is implemented using the NQ work process. This ensures that the platform independence of the lock management is ensured. SAP lock concept works on the principle that SAP programs make lock entries for data records to be processed in a lock table. Lock entries can only be made if none already exist for the table entries to be locked. So that is pretty important. Make sure that the lock is not already there. You can lock a table which is not locked. Okay. So the NQ work process manages logical lock of the SAP transaction in the lock table. Lock table is located in the main memory of the instance with the NQ work process. Okay, just a side note that the instance whose main memory contains the lock table is also known as the NQ server. Okay, so basically if you have multiple application servers and if we have defined that the lock should be maintained only in one of the application server then that server is called the NQ server. Okay, so that is about the lock management. So let me show you how to see whether there is a lock on a table and how to see there are locks in the table and delete a particular lock. Okay, so for doing that let me show you how to check that. So if you go to the transaction called called SM12. Okay, in transaction SM12, and if here you can see the table name. If you already know the table which you want to see a lock, you can mention it here. If you don't know, we just leave it blank and username mention it as star. Okay, now what you will see is if there are locks on the table. Here you can see there is one lock which is there that is for the user solman underscore admin on table name usr04. Okay, the lock type is called E. E means it is an exclusive lock. Okay, so that is also called a write lock. The lock data can be edited only by one user. The request for another lock, write lock and another read locks are rejected. A write lock protects the locked object against all types of other transaction. Only the same lock owner can set the lock again. So here you can see this is this particular lock. These are the details of the lock. Okay, so here if you just double click on this, you will get more details about what this lock is and which is the transaction code which is being used, what is the name of the lock object, all that information can be seen there. Okay, so that is on this. Now, in case if the system administrator wants to clear this lock, 
So, how do we clear this log? We can select this. Okay, here you can see that this particular user. Okay, so this is the user who is trying to edit something. Okay, now let's go to the next tab where the user is. Say, for example, someone is complaining that I want to write to this table, and can you kick kick off or can you remove this part the existing user? So, either we request the user or in worst case we can delete the lock. Okay, if I just click on the delete tab, okay, here the message comes. The lock entry has been manually deleted. Before you can manually delete lock entries, you must make sure that there are no processes active that needs the object in question to be locked. Okay, that is transaction update there is no transaction update is going on otherwise there is a danger that the objects that are no longer protected can be changed by a several processes at once okay what will happen is that that will make the data inconsistent and incorrect so deletion of lock entries is documented in the system log however you can see the table in which the entry was locked and the lock mode that is shared lock or exclusive lock and exclusive but not cumulative lock optimistic lock so these are the different types of locks that are available okay now let me delete this lock entry okay now the lock entry is deleted okay so the lock that was there is deleted so if you see this transaction now if someone else wants to write it he will be able to write to it okay so that is about the lock i just showed you how to check the lock how to delete a lock okay then we just saw the different types of lock i just explained about the right locks basically they are the exclusive locks on the table so only one user can have it and if someone is writing it another read requests are rejected okay read locks so read locks are like lock mode shared several users can have read access to the locked data at the same time the request for additional read locks are accepted even if they are from other users a write lock is rejected okay so the next is about the enhanced write locks lock mode exclusive non cumulative while that write locks can be successfully requested and released by the same transaction an enhanced write lock can only be requested once even by the same transaction all other requests for locks are rejected then optimistic lock okay optimistic locks respond like read lock at first and can be changed to write locks so that is about the locks in sap that's what i wanted to cover in this particular session thanks for joining and have a nice day bye bye